we will, we will be free! For when the rising tide has turned in every London quarter, Parliament comes crashing down with Boris Rules of Order! Where are we now? The uh, 20th, 20th, and it's me. Yes. All right. Done talking about all my ailments. What were you talking about my operations, young man? What? Let's speak up, Shiny. Can you hear a word you're saying? <laughs> are you excited for your party? Not one bit. <laughs> Alrighty. I, was, I really wanted to do the 17th, though, in a full Irish accent for you. I couldn't take it. Oh, but why couldn't you take it, my lassie? Because it's After not all, very good. I never said it was good. <laughs> I just said it was Irish. It, it, An imitation at that. What do you want from a German guy? <laughs> it, yeah, it's not very good. <laughs> all righty. When a vote by ballot is not required by the bylaws. Okay. For which of the following would a ballot vote not be prescribed. Would you want me to read that again? Because when a ballot vote is not required by the bylaws, for which case is a ballot not prescribed? For which of the following would a ballot vote not be prescribed? Okay. A. A vote on charges before or after the trial of a member or an officer. B. A vote on the admission of a candidate to membership in the society. C. Non-contested elections. D. Whenever it is believed that members may thereby be more likely to vote their true sentiments. D doesn't make a lot of sense. C, I, I think, could be true. A was uh, something about trials. Uh, a vote on charges before oh, or after a trial. I'm not even sure what if that's accurate or not. Uh, what's B? A vote on the admission of a candidate to membership in the society. I can see arguments both ways on B. I'm going to go with C. And you'd be correct. <laughs> because why would you need a ballot on a non-contested election? Exactly. So, yeah, <laughs> logically, that would be... Right. But what confused me about... The question was, okay, vote by ballot's not required, so for which of these would a ballot vote not be required? I'm kind of like thinking, none of them, because it's, but I know that means by Roberts. The bylaws, yeah, exactly. The bylaws but, don't say it, and the Roberts would say, we'll do this when, yeah. Yeah. I got that part I understand. Yeah, I, it confused me. So, uh, page 412, 17 through 23. By the way, if you want to ever, ever see one of the funniest um, informal, non-ballot induction into a society things in the world, go look up Vincent Price, the Monster Mash. Okay. Remind me. He did the mash. <laughs> he did the Monster Mash. Well, in this case, they were injecting, they were injecting, inducting, I think it was Boris Karloff. <laughs> okay. But the, but, but the rattle off of what he says about the savagery of humans. Mm-hmm. It's dry, funny, and so true. <laughs> I like dry, funny. Mm -hmm. Okay, voting by ballot. I'm going back a little because it doesn't yep. make sense to go in the middle. Voting by ballot. Slips of paper on which the voter marks his vote <laughs> is used when secrecy of the members' votes is desired. That's not the only time it's used, because, but whatever. They presume secrecy. Right. The bylaws of the organization may prescribe that the vote be by ballot in certain cases, as in the election of officers and an admission to membership. Any vote... Asterisk. Asterisk. We'll go back to that. <laughs> Any vote related to charges or proposed charges before or after trial of a member or any officer should always be by ballot. In cases in which there is no requirement that a vote be by ballot, a ballot vote can be ordered by a majority vote, which may be desirable whenever it is believed that members may be, therefore, thereby, more likely to vote their true sentiments. Okay. But it doesn't say anything about non-content. To me, that just makes sense. Okay, so it says a vote by ch on charges is a ballot. Right, we know that. Um, a vote on admission of a candidate to a membership of the society is not listed here. Yeah, it, um, or is it? Yeah, it is. It was, I think, B oh. or C. It may prescribe them in certain cases. Um, or, yeah. Um, 
the bylaws may do it. Um, Non-contested elections is not mentioned. But yeah, that just, just that makes sense. sense. Yeah, elimination is what it comes down to. Um, now, the asterisk in some organizations, I think we've read this before. Oh, the black and white balls. Yeah, the black and white balls. Yeah. That is just kind of creepy to me. This custom, however, is apparently declining. I think we need to bring it back. So, well, yeah, especially if we play bingo with them. I think that'd be kind of funny but you know i want to look up something here because to me that didn't really we got the biggest balls on the wall and never mind i'm not gonna <laughs> steve sheets does it the best um i want to see if non-contested elections is in here in the back it's not in the use that's for sure not under uncontested it's not under non-contested so let's look at elections not listed one nominee, I think, would maybe be so. That's four, four, three. Yeah, that's probably the closest. If only one person is nominated, and the bylaws do not require that a ballot vote be taken, the chair, after ensuring that in fact no members present wish to make further nominations, simply declares that the nominee is elected, thus affecting the election by unanimous consent or acclamation. The motion to close nominations cannot be used as a means of moving the election of a candidate in such a case. That. Section should have been on here too, because that's what deals with the. Right. Uh, all right. Well, this was me, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think. Yeah. Tw yeah. Twenty. Yeah. It's me. All right. Well, there we go. Yeah, and we found another error. Uh, you know, um, you'll laugh. This is so I INTJ of me. <laughs> I started doing these she calendars. Says the, she says the other INTJ in the room. <laughs> You're an INTJ too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, in 2018. Yeah. I found so many errors. Like just with grammar or whatever, and I wrote to Nap and like listed them all. You, you style committee to Robert's rules. I did. <laughs> I did. Oh, that is pressure. That's I priceless. Wrote, I did. They, they thanked me, That's but I could hilarious. tell it was a. Thing. That's freaking hilarious. It was a, a thank you and. The... Bless her heart, but I hate her and everything she stands for. They could have just said bless your heart. And that would have been. Then again, then again, I style committee up uh, computer code sometimes too. So, so. I'm not <laughs> going to write them and tell them page 443 should have been included. Fever, let's hear the opposition side. Like a stubborn donkey's bray, all opposed. You say nay, opposed, opposed. The motion carries anyway.